Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Rael, I'm 23, I'm a new mommy, and I'm a dancer. Today's video is a dance tutorial of a new dance challenge that I created uh, called the Diplomatic Challenge. So the song is obviously Diplomatico by Major Lazer, and I wanna teach you guys the choreography, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned, we're gonna get started. I will also not be playing this song in this particular video for copyright purposes, but you're more than welcome to watch the actual dance video that's linked in the description box below so you can see it with the music. This video will be mirrored for you guys so that it'll be easier for you to learn. Your right side will be my right side. So the first eight count starts with your right foot. You're gonna take a cross step back behind your left leg. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Our upper body, our arms are going to be placed here at the sides. My shoulders are down and my back is engaged and I'm going to move my shoulders around and around around and around and we're going in this direction as we do our steps um it feels like i'm doing two of these rolls for each direction so it's a one and two three and four do you see that it's one and two three and four so after your one and two, three and four. We are going to step out with our right, five, six, okay? These moves, I know these moves are called something, but I don't know the title of it. So as I step out with my right, my left arm is crossing the front and my body is facing this direction, right? So what you're gonna do is you're going to sway back to the left and then you're going to step with your left and now your right arm is in the front and you're going to sway back to your right so it looks like this 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 and actually i am engaging my arm as i sway so slightly my arms are going like this and then the momentum in my chest that follows my arms a momentum following my arms through my chest so the arm goes first and your chest follows um, not that far behind but it follows after five six we're gonna immediately come into seven eight okay so to start off seven we're gonna step out with our right foot and as we step out with our right foot we are going to dig the heel of our left foot out so when you dig your heel into the ground you're able to do something like this and when you dig the ball of your foot into the ground, you're able to do something like this, right? So that's essentially what this left leg is going to do. We only have to do that four times. One, two, three, four. To get into that, we are going to be on our right, meaning our weight is gonna be on our right foot and it's gonna be on the ball of our foot, okay? And then as we get into this position, you wanna start to dig your ball, the ball of your left foot into the ground. Okay, so it starts like this. Did you see how I switched that? Bam. You're going to be pushing off your right foot, which is why we wanna have our weight on our right foot. And as you push, you're going to take the ball of your left foot down and dig it into the floor and turn it. So to clarify the movement on seven and eight, we have a push off our right leg and a scoot we'll call it a scoot i don't know what this move is called but we'll call it a scoot with our left it happens simultaneously as you push you want to shift that left out and then back in out and then back in i like to do this move barefooted i slide easier so if you're learning this with shoes on you can take your shoes off for this part until you until you get the hang of it our arms in this move, our right is going to be on our knee and our left is going to be out. And as we start the move, we're gonna push out with this arm, this left arm. All together, it looks like seven, eight. From the top, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're here on eight. And the next move is going to be 
bringing your left across you. It's gonna be another cross step, except it's more of a, it's a trip step, if you will. Because as we place our left leg down, our right leg's gonna come up. So you're going to shift weight from your right to your left. Shift. So after we catch ourselves on our left leg, we're gonna bring our right leg down, and then we're going to bring, we're gonna step back with our left leg and bring our right leg into another hop, like this. Hop, step, hop, step. Hop, step, hop, step. And we'll do, we're doing that two times. With this hop, it's gonna, it kinda looks like we're running. So our arms are gonna look like this. <laughs> but don't worry, you're not gonna stay here and look weird. So it's going to be like running arms here. Running arms here. For our upper body, I really want you to think about changing levels. So we're gonna be up here most of the time and this move gives us a chance to go down, right? So when we hop on that foot, we're a little bit down, we've changed levels. Then we're going to bring it back up here. So all together, it looks like here and here. And these steps are on the beat and the music that you hear go do, 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 do. So to the music, it goes do. Da, do, da, do, da, do, da. We're gonna go seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four. From the top, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four. So from four, we're going to place our right only for a second to prep because we're going to kick. You need a place to kick from, so we're gonna start from a step kick. And that kick is going to rebound, and you are going to bring your leg back in place, yeah? So after here, we're gonna kick, and then we're gonna step out, shoulder width apart. You wanna be as big as you can, but this move is a powerful move because we are going to bring our arms up down and then this is another level change. So it's going to be a squat and you're gonna whine here, just one, okay? One nice one. So I'll go back from four here. We're gonna place our foot down, kick, spread them. <laughs> Again, you wanna make sure your arms are really big, your shoulders are down, and you wanna engage from the back. So you wanna see yourself um, really execute this move using your whole body. This step is going to activate this move. It's gonna be a body roll down, a whine. I did not pee myself, this is sweat. It's hot in here. And then you're kinda gonna get into another whine, except you're going to use your hip, since it's pushed out, to roll your body back up. So I don't know if you've ever seen in a video people are doing a body roll and then reverse it that's what we're doing with the wine I'm using my whole body so it's not just my hip going in a circle it's not just my chest going in a circle it's my whole body we're going to the right swing it to the right boom wine roll it back up you're going to finish that body roll boom hitting it with your chin it's like a tap to the air if there's any part of this video that you're having trouble understanding, it's no worries. Go back to it, play it over and over again until you get it before you finish the rest of the video. I really wanna make sure that you have it. So after eight, we are going to bring our right in and it's a little plie, meaning a bend in the knees, slightly. So eight and one. And while we bring our right in with our leg, our arms, are going to cross our chest. Again, you want your shoulders to be down, engaged in your back muscles, and you're gonna take your fist and turn them in, and then cross your chest, yeah? So it looks like this to here. From here, we're just going to sway and sway. This is a push of my hip out and out. We're activating this move with a step, a step, so it's right left right left while we're swaying 
our arms are going to be here and then tap, tap, here, here, okay? I'm stepping with my right, pushing out with my hip. And then as I get ready to step with my left, this is gonna happen simultaneously. It's going to be a tap, tap, yeah? So we tap with one step and then tap without a step because it's in the middle. It's kind of in between of the steps. It makes sense with the music because he goes diplo, diplo, right? Diplo, diplo. That's what you're hitting these taps on. Stepping back on the right foot, we're going to push with our hip and we're also going to push with our arms. I want you to think about pushing your arms apart, which is why you wanna make sure you're engaged in your upper body. So you can push this, make it look cool. <laughs> make it look like something, make it look like something. So going back from the tap of the chin on eight, we're gonna bring it in one, two, and three, four, yeah? From here, it's gonna be another one of these moves with our feet, and we're going from our left. So our weight is going to be in our left foot, and when we shift our heel forward, we're going to bring our right leg up and our right hip is going to be up. So it kind of looks like a hop, but you don't ever have to leave the floor, just a little boom, yeah? Boom, yeah? You wanna reset your feet. So essentially you're just resetting your feet from here to here, and then here to here again. Our arms, our left arm is going to be in the air, and our right arm is going to be doing a chugging motion near our hip. Here, here, yeah? You wanna make sure that the arm is coming from the back, and then forward, and then back, and then forward. You're just gonna be doing that twice. This whole move is two times, that's it. I'm gonna go back from here. We have one, two, and three, four, and five, and six. We are almost done with the dance too, so that's great. From here, here, we're going to go into the next move by stepping out on our right foot. So that's going to be a step. And every time we step, our arms are gonna be strong. So shoulders down, roll your shoulders back. And when you step, you're going to roll them forward, yeah? And so it's going to be a right, left. As I step, I, am, I put a slight bend in my left leg. So it kind of looks like I'm going like this, super Afrocentric. The trick of that is a little shift in the weight that you're putting on your feet. So my weight's gonna be here and slightly for a second to bend my left leg, it's going to go back, but it's going to go back forward again. So it looks like that. And with our arms, you really wanna think about being intentional with throwing your shoulders forward. Your arms will come forward like that naturally. Right, buddy? I mean, if you wanna do that, but. <laughs> So from the side, it looks like this with our upper body, yeah? And this with our lower body, yeah? You can be as high or as low as you want with that move. I try to change the level. It just depends on how you get into it. That move is very groovy, so it's up to you how you want to interpret that move. So from five and six, we go. And five, and six, and seven, eight. So that and before seven is you bringing your weight forward so that you can kind of fall into seven and eight. From the top we have one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight, one, two and three, four and five and six and seven eight yeah yeah this next move is called the guara guara and it goes like this but i'm gonna break it down so so since our body is already forward and our feet are already spread apart we're going to step on our right leg and bring our knee in like this every time we step 
every time we step and when we lift off of it we're going to bring our knee back out and then step bring it back in out in out in out in and I'm kind of already doing it with my arms it is going to be a follow of the out in out in the same way so in out in out in out in we're only going to do that twice but just so you get the just so you get the feel of it you want to think of having your weight on your right and you're pushing off the ball of your foot every time and when you land with your right foot you're still on the ball of your foot so your leg your heel should always be lifted during this move don't ever put your heel down you can get funky and flavorful with that move too i've seen people like d d d and um I've seen people do their arm in a circle and then I've seen, their people, I've seen other people just go in, out, in, out. Find your groove. So you want to um, remember your left arm to be out. I forgot to mention that. One, two, yeah? So from the guara, guara, you're going to push off the right since our weight is on the right foot again. However, we are going to shift our weight so that we're centered and rond de jean. A turn yeah a turn into a squat so a rond de jean is when you take your foot I know it's a ballet term and so when you know all your positions and stuff and then you bring it all together that's a rond de jean which is gonna look like this is going to help me turn yeah I'm just uncrossing my legs how I turned did you see that rond de jean all the way turn into a squat don't mind my sweat marks, it's hot in here. So the shift in your weight comes quickly. Um, and I think it helps to think about how strongly you push off, ooh, not too strong. How strongly you push off your right leg. You're gonna be here, just for a split second, but if you don't have that balance, you can throw yourself off. You wanna think about your toe never leaving the ground for the rond de jean. So your toes pointed and on the floor, and you wanna round it, yeah? From here, we just uncrossed, and now we're facing backwards, and we're gonna squat, okay? I'm gonna finish it since this is the last move, basically. So we're here. This is gonna be a twerk move. We're going to pop and pop, yeah? In the squat position, we're going to come to the ball of our right foot, and as we come to the ball of our right foot, so it's kinda like your tippy toe, you are going to be pushing this right cheek and right hip upwards and outwards yeah I decided to isolate this pop move so you're also going to execute popping down which is just placing the heel of your right foot back down on the ground and you want to bring your hip and your cheek down yeah so it's going to be boom boom yeah after we did our right boom boom we're gonna do the same thing with our left okay so ball of our left foot that means our left hip and our left butt cheek comes out and upwards and then back down flat feet and then our hip and our butt cheek goes down we're also going to be on that same beat do 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 yeah so it's going to look like do 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 yeah do 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 so from our guara guara we have one two three four five and six and a tip for that turn you want to have a slight bend in your left in your left leg it's your supporting leg and so you'll be able to do this without throwing your balance off. You can make this leg go out longer. You can shoot it out stronger if you want. It really puts power behind the move. So you'll be able to be stable as you run de jean here, pop, down, pop, down. All right, and then this last move, in the music, there's kind of like this leg. In the background, we're just gonna shimmy, 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 yeah? And you're done. We're gonna do it all together twice, once slow, and then the second time will be to tempo. Okay, so we have five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one and two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one two and three four and five and six and seven eight one two three four five and six and seven eight awesome if you needed that speed 
One more time, just rewind back to that part. We're gonna do tempo. Going for tempo, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight. One, two and three, four and five and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five and six and seven, eight. And then you freestyle in my first original video. When I made this, I dropped down into a split. You do whatever. Something always comes out different after that. So that last part is all you. And you did it. You learned it. We did it together. Like Now, go record yourself. Go tag me at royal underscore royale and use my hashtag royal royale. I want to see you on the gram. I want to share you. I want to talk about you. Do this video. If you like this tutorial, please like comment what helped you any tips any suggestions how i can help break down my tutorials to you that means so much any kind of suggestions i'm here for it i'm open to it thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all on my social media and in my next video bye